This year, we're excited with our honorees that they exemplify the values of Martin Luther King Jr. and the values that we try to uphold with this celebration. Dr. Crow strongly believes we stand on the shoulders of those who came before us. And we would not be here today, as you've heard from each of our essay readers, without standing on the shoulders of family, grandparents, parents, friends, guardians, people who care. Now I'd like to share some words of inspiration from a friend and a colleague of mine, Brian Moreland. He said, we are all a walking return on someone's investment. Because someone believed in us, here we are and here we give. And with that, it is my honor to introduce our 2021 Student Servant Leader, Simone Bayfield. Hi, Simone. Hi, good morning. I am so glad you're here. And I'm so glad to share a little bit about you. Simone is a graduate student pursuing her master's degree in administration. After graduating from Johnson C. Smith University and HBCU, Historic Black College and Universities in Charlotte, North Carolina, cosmetology, she, she moved back to LA and decided to follow her dream and go to cosmetology school. During her schooling, Bayfield offered her services to residents at women's shelters. She went to homeless shelters across the country, helping women, many of them who were victims of violence, domestic violence, and other horrible things. She looked with them, worked with them, and helped them to be their best, helped them stand on her shoulders. At ASU, Bayfield has co-founded Accelerated Leadership for Underrepresented Minorities, ALUM a student organization that serves as a pipeline for students of color to move into high powered positions in the business world. Once again, standing on Simone's shoulder. I'd like to share a quote by Simone. That's what's the purpose of a leader really is. It is not to be the one who necessarily the face of an organization or the person with the most power or the most money, but it's about who helps make the biggest change. So to me, that servant leadership is really a leader who stays in body in knowing that they're here to work for the people they serve, not the other way around. It's very easy to see, Simone, why you are our 2021 ASU MLK student servant leader. Simone. Thank you. Good morning. It is truly a pleasure and honor to be here today and share this experience with all of you. Let me begin by first thanking ASU and the committee that was so kind in selecting me as this year's Student Servant Leadership Award recipient in honor of the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I would be remiss if I didn't in the same breath vehemently thank my mother, Dr. Roxy Mayfield and my aunt, Dr. Rosie Mayfield. These two strong, generous and kind women are the paragon of servitude and leadership. Their example made it easy to follow in their footsteps and to be a guiding light for living the principles that Dr. King so profoundly believed in. The fight for equality, for victims of injustice and all marginalized groups or individuals is just as desperately needed today as it was when Dr. King gave his infamous I Have a Dream speech. While many milestones of progress have been made and will continue, it is up to each one of us here today to practice the love, compassion, and bravery that is necessary for lasting and widespread change. These acts don't have to be monumental or publicized or even organized. That is truly the beauty of servant leadership. We all have the power to create moments of opportunity for others, to perform a small act of kindness, or to simply stand up for something that you believe in. Leadership isn't about recognition, but holding up those around you and being an example of light and truth. I'm grateful to be able to do my part in this fight through the creation and legacy of alum, Accelerated Leadership for Underrepresented Minorities, which I hope will provide a sense of community and fruitful opportunities for students in the MBA program moving forward. I look forward to continuing my work with the homeless and women affected by domestic violence and substance abuse. 
By providing these communities with beauty services that freshen up their outward appearance, I am able to uplift and renew their sense of confidence and internal worthiness. These are two very different and co contrasting marginalized groups, yet equally worthy of opportunity. In the words of Dr. King, we must use time creatively in the knowledge that the time is always ripe to do right. I hope to continue finding the time and a way to do right. Once again, thank you so much for this prestigious honor. Simone, that was wonderful. And it's thank you so much on behalf of the committee, on behalf of Arizona State University, and on behalf of the nation. Thank you for doing what you have been doing as a student servant leader.